Hi everyone, hope you are all doing great and uh, in this uh, session uh, we are going to talk about this installation. Uh, this is an um, this is the fourth part of the installation series and pretty much my installation is done. So what I can do now is I can access the tool, I can go here to access the tool. Uh, just uh, type this link localhost 8080 cmx and then just uh, my application is available here. So here I go and uh, just click on that link to open the application and yeah it's my system is very slower now. I told you this application is quite heavy in terms of memory and all that. So it is in, it is opening on the application now, the tool that we are waiting for. Okay, and uh, once you do that, then um, once this is open, just you need to go and register the particular ORS as well. You can do that. So pretty much once this tool is open, the installation stop is, I mean the installation uh, step is pretty much, it's done. So that's the main responsibility of an Informatica administrator to install uh, the product from uh, from zero level okay and uh, I'm planning to create a separate video I, in fact uh, tomorrow itself I'll be uploading a video on the upgrade process uh, the upgrade is uh, slightly complex because uh, there are many versions of Informatica so it makes it slightly complex but uh, no need to worry I have uh, many documents regarding the upgrade so we'll uh, we'll see we'll see that in the fourth I'll create another video for that so yeah, I can see here there are many documents regarding the upgrade process and all that. We'll check this later. I'll create a separate video for that. So pretty much this tool should open now. Uh, one second. Otherwise you can just go there and uh, go to downloads just open it once again otherwise you can also save and open it you don't have to open this every time just save this Hyperion minus console file and open from there you can also do that Okay, I'll save it in the desktop. Open it. Uh, first time, this tool takes a lot of time to open. In fact, uh, five, ten minutes or so. Once, uh, once you open it for for the first time, second time it's very faster. So this was from the earlier process. This is done now. It does take a lot of time. So this is also done, you can see here, okay. So I told you, right, there isn't anything from your side. Just uh, once it is done, uh, just say no and say done, okay. And let's open this tool and finish the installation and video. It's been going long. I think it took almost like one and a half hours or so. It shouldn't take much uh, more than one hour if everything is uh, fine. I'll just show you the tool and then we'll finish it off. And if I go here then I should see one more file, the Cyperian cleanse server file. It should be here. Let me refresh it. Uh, let me refresh it. Should be here. Because that's what it is showing here. Deployment of... Uh, okay, starting deployment. It's not done yet. So it'll take some time and then it will be deployed. So it, takes, take, it is currently deploying this file, Cyperion MRM cleanse here. So it will definitely take some time. Okay, anyway that's not the focus. The focus is to see the tool. I'm doing it for the first time so that's where it's taking a lot of time. I 
I'll pause it for uh, two minutes. So it's uh, pretty much done. You can see here. Uh, just uh, it's asking me to log in. So let me log in. So the user ID password is admin admin. Uh, and if this is done, then pretty much the installation is over. If you face any errors, errors in here, then you need to troubleshoot. So let me see if I can log in or is it showing some issue. I don't need it. Just say okay. Yeah, I think it's there's no problem. So you can see here I can log in. So connect. So here I go. I have a master database, and in a separate video I have so, uh, created how to add an ORS. I have already shown you how to add an ORS, create and add, and you can go ahead and you can create as many ORSs as you want. So pretty much you can see the installation is done here. Okay, you can see the installation is done. Um, I hope you liked it, you understood, and you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or anything regarding this uh, installation process, or uh, if you face any issues, you can always uh, check my Facebook blog or the, my YouTube channel. You can send me a message or something. And thank you very much for your patience. Uh, yeah, I'll uh, conclude this uh, series about Informatica MDM administration and installation. Check out uh, the next video for uh, the upgrade guide. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys.